I think people's perception of Computer Centre really comes from the type of engagement that they have with us as an organisation. You know, if, if it could just be supply chain that the, their existing relationship is, it could be around transformation. But with all sort of providers sounding relatively similar in the market, it's really important that we get to the new buyer and actually help them to understand how Computer Centre has changed and really turned into this organisation that can help transform what they're doing in the cloud era. And that's really important for us. And as we see new customers re you know, really picking up on our messaging and, and buying into what we're saying and landing new messages, our job really is to take that to our existing customers and make sure they see the same value as the net new customers see. So I think people's perception of NetApp is, has to change as well. Um, it's not unfair to say that our history is that we've been a storage company. And I think if I asked many people, you know, what's the first thing you think of when I say NetApp, you'd probably be thinking storage, NAS or filers. Um, and that's a big change that we've made over the last four or five years. Um, we're very, very clear about who we are and what we've been developing ourselves into. NetApp is now a hybrid cloud data services company. Our focus is helping companies put applications and data in the right place at the right time, with the right characteristics to accelerate innovation and to find new business insights. And in order to do that, we've been building up a portfolio of technologies, both with on-premises technology and technology partnerships that we've built with Amazon, with Microsoft and Google. And what we want to focus on is help our customers build their data fabrics to enable them to succeed in this kind of hybrid multi-cloud world. Well, particularly we want to talk about Compute Center's digital power strategy, and that's really all about uh, four things really. It's about helping customers modernize what they're doing in the data center. It's about helping them move to public cloud. It's about adopting multi-cloud, and it's about helping them accelerate their, their, their move into the sort of digital era. So these are sort of four key areas of our proposition. Um, and really, our job really is to help the enterprise sort of make that transition, but make that transition quickly to leverage the value and benefits out of these new technology areas. I think NetApp's strategy of helping our customers build their data fabrics underpins Computer Center's strategy so, so well. You know, we as an organization placed our bets with Amazon, with Microsoft and with Google four or five years ago now to make sure that we could bring the kind of enterprise grade technology services, data services that we've always had and been able to bring on premises into their data centers as well. Um, and now that we've done that, it means that we can help people with this data fabric, which ensures their data can be wherever they need it, when they need it, to achieve the things they want to achieve from it. So I think it underpins Computer Center's strategy really, really well. I'm really reminded of our, a conversation that we had in Swan Lane um, quite a few years ago where you were sort of painting out NetApp's sort of data fabric strategy and I was telling you where we were going to take Computer Center around building our capability around AWS, around Google, around containers. So, uh, you know, that journey, I guess, goes back about four years now. And we're really now at the point where, as that sort of strategy comes together, I think respectively for both companies, actually we've become more relevant because multi-cloud is really enforcing customers to think about NetApp in a fundamentally different way and look at not just the products that you, the physical products in the data center, is the technologies that you bring into the multi-cloud space because that's, these are really the enabling technologies that stop the customer getting locked in and get the value out of what they're trying to do with multiple providers. So I, th I think that you know, we've really come together over the last three, four years and become more important to each other actually. Well, like I said before, this is not something that we've just started doing. This is something that became part of our strategy back in October 2014, actually. And we've been building out technologies and capabilities to bring this data fabric opportunity to life for our customers since that point. You know, we started off working with Amazon, putting our technology into Amazon such that it's available within their marketplace. We then moved on to Microsoft, and just recently that we've announced that for, for Google as well. Um, and we're now able to orchestrate container services across this hybrid multi-cloud environment. And I think to, to, to support you know, what you were saying, one of the things that, that we often talk about is, um, you know, do you have a Clexit strategy? Which I know is slightly ironic and, and, and frustrating because of where we are as a country at the moment. But, you know, I think it is important to think that if you go into a cloud, have you got the ability to either come back out or to move to another cloud should that make more sense to you for your plans going forward? And it's all of those things that we're able to bring to life using a data fabric underpinning your proposition as computer center. I think one of the things we've seen really change over the last three, four years is 
you know, a shift from this being a technology decision to, uh, you know, to, to a new buyer within the organisation and fundamentally changing the whole organisation. Um, so I really think what we've done as an organisation is rather than just sort of use our existing relationships with the CIO is we are now more and more engaging with the, the, you know, the line of business and the, the application owner. And I think that's how we're really differentiating in the market is we're going further upstream. We're understanding what the, the needs are of the business and actually we're then helping them make decisions about an applications and what they should do with those applications. And then we might get to a decision about where we should place those workloads and how they should run and operate. And I think that's a differentiating story in the market because we're not locked into any one provider. So we work with all the main public cloud providers, we work with all the vendors that work on-prem, we work with containers, so I'm, we're really agnostic to the destination. Um, so I really think that's how we are changing as an organisation um, and leveraging your technology to help us to be agnostic, you know, whatever the destination is as well. So I think it's a great story. So I saw some research from Gartner very recently and it said that by 2025 they believe that 80% of organisations will have closed one or all of their data centres. Mm -hmm. So we know that this move towards the cloud, this question of being asked of every time we look at a new application, a new opportunity, a new possibility, whether that's within IT or line of business, that very first question is, should we do this in the cloud? So I think making the bets that we did four or five years ago that what we needed to do was bring these enterprise grade file services was absolutely the right thing for us to do and the reason it works so well with all three of those hyperscalers is we remove some of the inhibitors as to why you wouldn't put applications into their cloud a lot of the, the times at the moment you can't put things in because maybe the performance isn't right maybe the protection isn't right maybe you know there's, there's some other factor that would stop you from doing that we remove all of that we provide high performance, highly flexible, highly available, and highly resilient, and most effectively, cost efficient mm. capabilities inside any one of those hyperscalers. Um, and I think it's playing out that way. That's exactly what we're seeing happen now, is people are making decisions about where workloads should go. Often those decisions are being made outside of IT, and very frequently those decisions are not putting it in our own data center. Yeah. And while it's not just moving to multi-cloud, even I think even your technology set, as we see a customer move into a single public cloud, we try and recommend that they leverage these technologies which are not going to lock them in, are going to give them enterprise class, so that it's not always about sort of being fully in the public cloud. It can be staying in the data centre, but you've got a bridge to other public clouds should that be something that evolves as part of their strategy down the line. So it's a, I think it's a great story. Yeah. What I'd like people to do next is to come and talk to us, either myself or Paul, our details are on the bottom of the screen, and find out what a data fabric and what Computer Center's proposition could help you achieve as a business. Be open to change your perception as to who both of our organizations are um, and get more feeling for what it is that we could help you achieve. Yeah, I think like Matt said, come and speak to us. You know, we've got referenceability in the market. We have a really strong value proposition. Uh, where we work to, you know, to help customers make change really quickly and cut out the complexity. Uh, and we've done that with NetApp uh, it successfully in the field, so I'd like you to come and hear about it. That would be my answer. So together we've been simplifying the, the complexity of our customers' IT for about 20 years, and it's really exciting to now be doing this as they move towards the digital era and the multi-cloud era. So we're very excited of the, the partnership continuing for another 20 years.